BID is essentially a very severe form of PTSD. BID is essentially a very severe form of complex PTSD. Everybody as a child starts off with an unintegrated personality. All these different parts of us start off as very basic needs. These very, very basic ego states of I'm hungry, I want food, I need to go to the toilet, I need attention. And the I'm hungry, I want food. And another one might be I need to go to the toilet. Another one. And around the ages of between seven to nine in normal development. Around seven to nine is when the personality would fully integrate into one personality. Around the age of seven to nine. In normal development, this integration usually happens around the ages of between seven and nine. Around the ages of seven to nine, there needs to be repeated trauma. So not just a singular event, repeated trauma. You need to be able to dissociate to a high level and you need to have a disorganized attachment to your primary caregiver or caregivers. So this trauma, along with the ability to dissociate to a high level and having disorganized attachments to your primary caregivers, Due to this repeated trauma and some other factors like unstable attachments to the primary caregiver, unstable connections and disorganized attachments to your primary caregivers. But if there is repeated or severe trauma before that age, but if repeated trauma happens before the ages of seven to nine and there is not a very healthy attachment to the primary caregiver and music walls can go up between these parts, then it can develop the ID. The mind puts up amnesic barriers which means that there is complete memory loss between the different parts of the brain when trauma occurs and when trauma isn't occurring. It, the amnesia creates barriers in your brain to help. Active identity disorder isn't very rare at all. It's actually more common than schizophrenia and about as common as bulimia. About 2% of the population of the world has this disorder. 1-3%, to yeah, which means it's um, as common as bulimia, more common than schizophrenia. And as a professional, what do you do when I was like, I run a mental health education service? This YouTube channel is a, um, a mental health education service that provides education on dissociative identity disorder and other mental health issues and, and illnesses, especially ones that are derived from trauma. And unless you're a trained psychologist or a therapist and you know what you're doing, try not to tell them what they should or should not be doing in order to get better. Um, and then if they don't bring up DID, just say like, um, I don't know, something like, have you ever heard of, um, like, just say like, is multiple personality disorder a thing? Like, is, is, is that real? In people with DID, that's not a psychotic symptom, but it is a symptom of psychosis for people with schizophrenia. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that's right, but I mean, yeah, don't, don't, don't hesitate to um, educate me. <laughs>